Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Julia Palastri versus uh, jo Josephine Knutson, who just defeated Marnik Mann in her last one. Looked pretty good. I believe by the end of it, Marnik Mann was kind of making it a, a, a decent fight. She was actually fighting back pretty well. Julia Palastri, as we see, 12 and 3, 4 and 1, her last five fights. Her last one, she lost against Jasmine Jessabacious. <laughs> On the contender series nearly three years ago as we see right here two years eight months plus 185 underdog to a minus 225 nuts i do not think is a two to one favor i think that's crazy 26 years old to 28 five two to five three three and a half inch reach advantage for palastri and something i actually really like in this matchup is Josephine is a really, really good striker. Uh, her takedown defense is decent, but when you're fighting a girl who has seven finishes, four by TKL, three by um, submission, you, you know what happens when you're fighting a girl like that. She's going to be looking to mix it up. And Nutsen, she's going to be trying to st stick to that jab, stick to her range, you know, kind of pick you apart from the outside. And from at least the last fight, we know Nutsen, Nutsen can get pulled into a kind of like a brawl type fight, kind of like a dirty fight. And in those exchanges, I like Psycho Julia Palestri to get the fight to where she wants it. And that's probably by submission. Get, uh, get the fight down to the ground. I wouldn't necessarily say, you know, she, she's fought some decent competition. Not great, but decent. Uh, she lost by decision, like I said, against Jasmine three years ago, almost three years ago at this point. But I, I like Julia Palastri, Palastri, Psycho, in this one. Again, she has seven finishes, never been finished. Nutsen has one finish, one TKO win. The rest is decisions. As always, subscribe, like, comment, let me know you're picking. Peace.